NX13.3 allows you to integrate NPM scripts more fully into the NX ecosystem. Here we have a project with a target defined in the project.json. This is the lint target. So you can execute it with NX lint products homepage, and it runs. Now let's say we have a package.json file, and we'll fill it in with the default contents. And let's add some scripts here. Let's say we have a deploy script, and that will just echo some message. Now we can run nx deploy and the project name. And that just found that npm script and ran it. Now you could do the same thing. Say you had a test script here that just runs jest. And let's give it some options uh, to create a coverage map. Now if you run nx test products homepage, and it runs that script from our package.json file. You can also see that it made these coverage files here that you can see how much of your code is covered by your tests. Now if we run this again, it loads the output from the cache rather than executing it again. Now NX has no idea where the output goes for this script. So it defaults to checking for anything that goes into the dist folder. But this is creating some output in the coverage folder. So if we delete this coverage folder and then run this again, it pulls from the cache, but the cache only cached our command line output. It didn't recreate this coverage folder. So we needed to tell NX where that output is going. Before NX 13.3, the only way to do this would be to add a target inside of your project.json file and specify this outputs property. But now you can stay inside of your package.json if you want to and add an NX property here, targets. And we're going to add some properties to the test target. Specifically, we're going to add outputs and give it an array that includes coverage, libs, products, homepage. Now let's run this again. And now if we delete this folder and rerun our test command, you can see that the coverage folder gets recreated. So any property that you see in the project.json file, you could also put inside of the NX property in package.json. So now you can take your pick. You can either have your targets defined in the project.json file, or you can have them in the package.json file. And you can have both if you want to. Generally speaking, I think more complex executors make more sense inside of the project.json, whereas commands that are just running a command line script might make more sense just to stay in the package.json.